Hey everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this punchline beginning and then we'll have a full unboxing and then a full review of this wonderful, wonderful C Crane C Radio Solar. See that? Punchline is I love it. I love everything about it. I love it so much that when this comes out, and this is a pre-production model that I got for review, but when this comes out, my intent is to buy one for each of my siblings and for each of my children. I buy one for my one grandchild too, but being that she's only about four weeks old as of recording this video, she probably won't appreciate it quite as much. But this is something that will truly help you out in an emergency. You'll see why. It is high, more function than other radios out there. It is not cheap and campy like a lot of the other ones, cheesy like the other a lot of the other ones. And um, C Crane has just put an amazing amount of effort into design, in functionality and uh, quality, all those different things. And I'm just going to give you one example before I stop and let you go into the actual unboxing and review. So. I'm down in our basement, and I have a habit of not turning the light on when I first come down the stairs, and it can get pretty dark. And I didn't know that this would be true. But lo and behold, one of the buttons on this radio, one of the buttons on this radio is glow in the dark. Can you guess which one it is? Yeah, you can probably tell because it's got a little, little green to it. Do you see that right there? Well, think about it. C-Crane could say, you know what, Alan? Just remember, front button here on the right, that's the one for the light. They could say that. Or they could say, you know what, if it's so dark that Alan's having trouble seeing, I'm going to make the button that will make it easy for him to turn the light on. See? Make it easy for him to turn the light on. I'm going to make that one glow in the dark so Alan can find it. And that's the kind of thought that this radio has, whether it be the different ways, solar, crank, rechargeable battery, and three AA batteries. Look at all those different options. Of course, and you can plug it technically into the wall too using an adapter. I mean, it's those kind of thoughts that you're going to see in the video. The pages, the settings, how easy it is to do the different settings. Sea Crane, this thing is awesome. Thank you for letting me review it. Thank you for sending me a copy. And, and again, what greater comment can I say to you about whether you should buy this radio than say, I'm going to buy, how many kids do I have? That's the siblings I got to go through. I plan on buying seven of these. I plan on buying seven of these. Now, uh, I may not buy all seven at once. Um, money, money, money. But the fact is I plan on buying seven of these. So that's how great it is. Thanks for watching. Please keep watching. And uh, yes, please subscribe, like the video, and Ring the bell if where you're watching this allows you to. Okay, into the unboxing. Hey everybody, are you ready for a, oh, I gotta slide my chair over a little bit here. For a, this is Chewy. Hi Chewy, you can't see him there. Can you, he's right there, yeah. Um, for a workbench review, and this is my RC car workbench, but I was really excited, I don't know, maybe a week ago now? Does it say, I'm not sure. Either way, recently, to get this box in the mail. And the reason I'm excited is there's this company called Sea Crane. And what happens now when we buy so much stuff on Amazon or at Walmart or all the different options we have to especially save money, we lose the fact that these people don't really know the products that they're selling. So it is different in this world to have a company that actually knows the products that they're selling inside and out. And of course, Sea Crane is not unique. There are some other companies like that, but they're getting fewer and fewer. And if uh, you were growing up in the record album time like I did, there's a big difference between a music store where they knew the music inside and out than one where they were just hiring cashiers to ring you up and to straighten the shelves and stuff. So I'm really excited because I reached out to them when I heard that this was coming out and ask them if I could, and I was glad to play, and I didn't have to, so this is free for review, but I was glad to pay, but I wanted to get one of these for review. So not only did I get this free, uh, spirit of full disclosure, but also, so I tried to cut my fingers off, also, 
um, it is a pre-production model. It's a pre-production model. So I'm doing this quick intro and then I'm going to do some testing and then I'll come back. But I wanted to do an unboxing. So it came in a nice box. It feels heavy, which is good considering what you're about to see. So here we got, oh, one thing that they've got again. You want to see how serious the company is in their space? There's a catalog you can write them for, write to them and get. Or you probably don't even have to write them, you're going to do it on their site. But there's a catalog and uh, they really know their stuff. So this is what I was really interested in. As a matter of fact, it turns out that here, whoops, before I drop this. See that on the front there? And that on the back there? That is exactly what I'm about to unbox. So again, pre-prod model. It's a C-Crane CC Radio Solar. CC Radio Solar. This is a very nice box, quality box. Look at the edges and stuff like that. So they're definitely picking up a game, the game that people are doing with boxing things nicely. Um, AM FM radio, weather with alert. Large solar panel, great battery capacity, charges most smartphones. Now, of course, they have to say most because what happens is as smartphones keep coming out, they become, oh, what's the word? Like? Hungrier when it comes to voltage. Like it used to be you get USB and it would be one volt. You can't charge normal cell phones with one volt. Uh, I'm sorry, one volt, one amp, five volt, one amp. Includes USB charging cable, audio line-in cable, lanyard, and manual. So let's go ahead and open this up together. Let's see, right back here, probably best. Nice box. Here's a warranty registration card. C-Crane products come with nice manuals. I'll have to take a look at this. And then, here is the radio. Can you see that? I have not opened it up yet. Notice something else, that the box did not say, this is large solar panel, but notice something else that the box did not say, but was part of the reason I wanted it. Here are the cables, the two wires that they promised. Um, let's go ahead and open this up, and then we're going to stop the video for now, because I want to use it a bit. Uh, and you don't need to <laughs> watch me fighting with it to begin with. Okay, it is boxy, but I think it's a, it's a very good looking boxy. Did I just do it upside down? I did. See that? There's the front. Yeah, you see if I was doing this like those professional reviewers and stuff, they'd, they'd be going slow motion around the radio. There's the front. There's the top. See the top? There is the, I guess, depending on how you look at it, right side if it's facing you. There's the left side. The bottom's <laughs> kind of boring. And then the back. Okay, and we'll probably do a little bit more looking at that um, after I've played with it a bit. But already, if you look at it, so this is rubberized. This is rubberized, so it's going to be nice and defensive. I'll have to look see how waterproof it claims to be. You can see, and I suspect we're going to find out it's water resistant, because notice how these ports are covered with something. And you've got a auxiliary in, a battery port to charge, I assume, some kind of switch. Uh, what's it say? I don't know. You have to look at it. Um, then the, the thing to charge your phone with and a headphone port, which is nice. And well, why don't we stop now? Oh wait, they said there was a lanyard. I do not see a lanyard. Is it in here too? Ah, it's in there. There's a lanyard. So let's go ahead and look at these real quick. Get that open. So here's the auxiliary end cable. Notice the nice right angle connector on one side. It looks like it's a TRS. Yeah, not a TRRS, just a TRS, which is fine. I'm just noting. And then you can see on this side, you've got a USB-A. And then on this side, a micro USB or mini. I can't remember which one's which. Obviously, USB-C would be the more modern thing for the radios to do it, but uh, if, if you haven't seen, often radios come with the larger mini USB or micro USB or whatever they call it. Um, so you've got that, and then this lanyard's actually kind of cool. Here, let me bring it closer for you. And I'm a big fan of lanyards because if you've got... 
piece of equipment that's important to you, the reality is, is you want to hold on it. So when I, like the camera, the ZV-1 that you see me using right now, or that's recording this right now, when I use it, I put the lanyard. Wait, does that one have a lanyard? Wait a second. I take it back. Generally with cameras, I don't know if I have a lanyard on that one. Did it come with a lanyard? Probably not. But generally, if I have a camera or something with a lanyard, I use it because I don't want to drop it. If I drop it, it's going to break. And they're not cheap. And even this radio is not a very expensive radio. When it comes out, I'm not going to say what I think the price is going to be. But it's not going to be very expensive. But why break it if you can make sure that you can hold it on partially with a you know, lanyard? So one note I would have about this, your wrist. <laughs> Unless you're a very, very small person, your wrist is not going to fit through this lanyard. But you can get a larger lanyard, attach it to it if you want to do that. Still nice to have something to hold it by. And uh, there you go. That is the unboxing. I will go ahead and give you some more information after, well, basically in the next portion of the video of how it went. Thanks for watching so far. Okay, you've seen the unboxing and you saw the kind of intro at the beginning where I said, I love this radio because I do love this radio. I do want to reiterate, I got this free for review, thank you C-Crane, and that this is a pre-production model. So, you know, for instance, I could bring up the fact that the switch in the battery compartment was probably switched to, uh, it, well, it wasn't probably, it was switched to AAA um, when it would have been better to have it switched to the battery that's in there. It's one of those 18650s uh, batteries, it would have been better. But the nice thing about it is C-Crane is also very responsive and when these get in the production uh, lots, they will take care of things like that. But let's go ahead and talk about what, what I really like about this radio. There's a lot of thoughts. So yeah, hey, I've already got it open. Notice that. So think about the radio. You can do solar, you can do winding, and you can do the rechargeable battery. So this, this may look like strange battery if you've not been playing and uh, let's see there are a lot of flashlights and this is definitely not the only radio. Texon's, uh, I forget the model, I've got one, uses uh, the 18650 battery too. It may look weird but it's a very powerful battery but you can use that priority but you can also use just normal uh, AAA, AA, what am I saying, AA batteries there. So step number one, emergency radio. You want to be able to use it in as many different ways that you can. And this allows it. Okay? Um, let me get this back on. This is a little hard to get on and off, but it's fine. Um, what else about this? Uh, one minor thing, and I did mention this. I don't know if we'll change it. Um, personally, the, the reason I want like a lanyard like this is so that I can put it on my wrist. That way I won't drop this by mistake. And uh, it's not going to happen. I think I may have even mentioned that in the unboxing. Um, the rubberized coating is handy. I did drop it once and I didn't feel so bad about it. Um, what else would I say? Oh, the, the winding is actually pretty simple. I'm not saying it doesn't get tiring, um, but uh, the winding is simple. Very nicely done. Uh, the dogs did not like the winding. I can tell you that much. Um, oh, these, these uh, programmable buttons. I like a couple things. Not only can you program your favorite stations, and I don't know if it's going to come in down here in the basement. Not only can you program your favorite stations, um, but these buttons, I am ringing. Just a second here. Let me stop my ringing. There we go. Um, but the buttons, when the power is off on the radio, the buttons actually do a lot of the programming. So for, for instance, and actually even on, so let's say I do this, right? This is low power mode to save battery. Do you hear that? Now it's high power mode. And yeah, you could argue, and you press again, go back into lower power mode. You could argue that it's a little bit of pat your head and rub your belly at the same time to figure out what you need to do. But it does come with a really good instruction manual, as noted during the unboxing. And, and I went through this so I would understand it. This instruction manual will tell you all those tricks. It has multiple pages. The pages of uh, memories. So right now, you know, I don't have much here, but so if you look at the page, notice number one on this one here. Let me go to number two and I hit number one. But now I'm going to change my band. And we are sold by brokers. Notice it's a different number one. So I, you can be of kind of two minds with that. 
it'd be handy if regardless of where you are you could press a button so let's say you're on FM you want to hear your favorite AM station you can press a button and switch over to AM but I, I think most of us like the fact that you've got multiple choices so not only does it have banks by uh, band including like weather has its own bank um, but it has uh, multiple pages per bank so that's kind of a very nice feature so you don't just have the five numbers and go to another page uh, speaking of bands um, again if you're gonna buy this at this point I, I don't know if you will see the listing for it but it does have uh, AM FM let me turn it back on that way. so what do we got it does AM work that way. FM and then weather. 99.5 the mountain. Your oh, home of the two. What did I just do? So this again. AM. Oh, weather was in between. So here, right. Let me turn this up a little bit. Here is the extended forecast for areas southeast of Denver, including Castle Rock, Parker, and Deer Trail. And Monday, if the volume seems Sunday. kind of low on that one, it's because the that the weather band signal doesn't come through very strong. And you can see. And politics and racial issues. Plenty loud. I haven't heard. Catalogs. So, um, so you've got those three bands. It has a light, which you already saw me turn on. So, it's got the lights you're going to want. Um, it can. I, I didn't test the. You can use this to charge a smartphone. Uh, I'm always hesitant to depend on that because smartphones are becoming more and more. Uh, power hungry. So it used to be that a smartphone would ch charge on a one amp charger, but I can almost guarantee you that if I take my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I go and I um, plug it into a one amp uh, charger, it's not going to charge. It's going to require at least two amps and it's going to want more than that for the fast charge. So I, I didn't test out that and I'll also admit that I really didn't get to test the solar where it's cold out right now. I don't didn't want to leave the radio outside in the sun. Um, so I wasn't able to test the solar, but I'll just tell you this. This is not my first C-Crane radio. And uh, I am, I'm not concerned that when the production models come out, I, I'm not concerned with this one. This one I'm sure works too. But I'm not concerned. If they have solar um, and they have the crank stuff, which I did do the cranking stuff, I can't tell you how much it actually charged it because it already had... You know battery and and things and and that switch it took me a while to figure out that that the switch didn't come in the right spot but um uh you know what i would say is if you're going to buy it for your phone just understand that uh, these the your phone there's a good chance it's power hungry uh look for what the uh, listings say in the future and uh, you know you follow the directions because i don't think that the phone stuff is on by default but follow the directions. I haven't fully tested it, but I'm, I'm confident that it will do what it's supposed to. Just understand that the charging the phone, see if I can find it real quick here. I apologize. Of course, I can edit this afterwards and make this less. Uh, let's see, battery flashlight lock radio, phone charger, USB 18. Let's see what we got going here. In an emergency, you may need power to sell, uh, need to power your cell phone to make important calls. Cranking the radio for just 90 seconds should give enough time to make a few calls. So I think that's kind of important that um, you, you you can use this to do that kind of emergency text or emergency phone call. Um, to begin charge, so hold the light button for two seconds. So that's what you would do. So I'll tell you what, I will edit out this thing. Let me go grab a, a, a thing and we'll try it out. Okay, I'm back. I have a cable. It does not. It does come with two cables, as I showed. It does not come with a cable to do this kind of charging because this takes a USB. So USB A to USB C. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. It says to hold the light button for two seconds. Uh, maybe I need to plug it in first. Let me take a quick look here. Now let's just go ahead and do this. Let's stick this in here. Okay. Well, guess what? It's already charging. So there you go. This is a power-hungry phone. This is a Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G. And I plugged it in, and I guess holding it down for two seconds did turn it on. 
So there you go, and it is charging. It's not going to be, what's well, this? I'm at 74%, and it says 38 minutes until full. So that's a that's a good charging rate. <laughs> Big thumbs up. And see, I tried it out right in front of you. So now I can say I have tried the charging. Actually, might as well just leave it in there for a bit. Um, I have tried the charging. I The solar, like I said, I didn't get to charge that fully. And I did do the winding. But it's a, it's a long story. I'm sure it works. I just can't confirm it for you right now. What else do I like about it? Um, I do like the simplicity of the settings. Um, the, the sound, I like the sound of it. I also, give you guys an idea. So I, my favorite headphones are C-Crane headphones. Uh, my favorite headphones are, are those, if you're gonna plug them in. Um, and I had, I had these plugged in and the volume loud, loud maybe all the way, uh, for on a full charge for basically two and a half days and then I turned it off. Catch that? Two and a half days on a full charge. Isn't that kind of amazing? I mean, if you look at what it says about the solar, it says for the solar, and again, I would trust C. Crane, it says eight hours of direct sunlight, and that's the problem. That's why I had issues. I don't have a good spot in that house to, to leave it where it'd be in direct sunlight regularly. I'd have to put outdoors, and even then it'd be questionable because of the way my house faces. So I was able to test it. It says eight hours of direct sunlight should provide 10 to 14 hours of playtime at medium volume, depending on sun intensity. Set the battery selection switch to lithium ion. Okay. Um, Let's see, uh, great, the sound in these were just amazing. The sound regularly is very good too. Well, you, you heard it a little bit. What else do I wanna talk about? Um, got my notes here. I think, yeah, the, uh, it's, I, I can't say enough good stuff about it. It looks, it looks good. Um, check, oh, you can use an AC adapter with it. Just, you know, ba basically plug it in. Uh, you want to get, you don't want to just use any AC adapter that will plug into it. This uses the micro USB. You can see the micro USB. You don't want to just use any AC adapter that you plug into it to listen to it because most adapters will have noise in them. Uh, so you want to get one that is a low noise and of all things, C-Crane cells are really awesome. And I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't very expensive. They make a really awesome low noise uh, charger. Although I just realized it may have the the other type of uh, small USB. I'll have to take a look at it. But if they sell a little noise one, you should get theirs. Or I, I may get the adapter so I can use it with this. Um, just scanning through to see if there's anything else. Do the AAA, three AAA batteries. Has a sleep timer. Just holding the power button. Um, it has a weather band alert. Okay, this is something that gets me see crane if you see this. Why make the thing flash at you if you've got the alert on? Why why do that? Because you do that with your... I've got your C-Crane... So I guess this is my fourth fourth C-Crane radio. Um, your uh, single sideband uh, shortwave radio. I've got that one, Skywave, SSB. And it, it's the same thing. If I turn on the weather alert, um, it blinks every so often. Why? I mean... It, yeah, I guess it's a warning that, hey, you've got this thing on, but I don't know if it's using power or whatever, but I, I don't want the flash. I don't want the flash. So that's something I would change. Or make it a setting. That would be really handy. Um, tuning controls. Tuning's easy. It's got the Seek. Just like the other ones, you can tune up and down. Here, I'm sorry, I got my phone plugged in. You can tune up and down with the buttons, or if you hold a button, it'll Seek. Works well. Uh, just scanning, see if there's anything else. Yeah, to, to save a memory spot. So let's say you've got your radio on. Let's go back to... Oh, okay, so this is interesting. Notice I've got the phone plugged in. Is it still charging? It's still charging. But... It... Here, let's see if I can turn this up. Let's see if I unplug it. <laughs> okay, we just discovered that together. Wait, i got to plug this back in and see. So, short version, is it even there? Short version is you're not going to charge, the pre-production, you know, what happens with the production one. 
But you're not going to charge your phone and listen to the radio at the same time. Not that that's a huge thing. Okay. But to set the memory, you just do that. I, and I prefer this one. I don't like ones where you have to hit a button and hit a button, that kind of stuff. Just hold it down. Wait for a few seconds. And now, it's there, okay? Nicely done. Nicely done. Um, display light will stay enabled for 10 seconds after each button press. If you plug it into continuous power, but again, make sure you get a low noise adapter, then um, it will display as long as the radio is on. Um, for this, press and hold the power and light button until the display cycles to the desired brightness. So you can set the brightness too. I kind of like it high. Earphone jack. It's got an earphone jack I use. Auxiliary jack. And it will recognize when you plug it in. I did not test that either. I don't really have anything that I wanted to plug in there. I suppose. Hey, well, no. <laughs> these do these? No, these don't have one. Oh, well. I can't test that for you right away either. We, we tried the radio charging. We've talked about how you can select... Um, the 18650, the lithium-ion battery, um, or you can put three alkaline batteries in there. you got to switch the switch up. And I thought it said not to use a certain type of alkaline battery, but I don't have that here. It's got the flashlight I've shown you. If you hold the band and the power buttons at the same time, it will disable the buttons. It will not disable the volume. So, here, let me show you. The band and the power. So, let's turn this on. So, that should lock it. It's got the lock symbol. Can you see that? Now, buttons aren't working, but volume is. Right. And then just press it again to turn it off. There you go. It's back off. Okay. Anything else I want to show? Lock radio. I, I don't know if I showed you in the side here. You can see the switch. See that little switch there? That's the one for the battery. Um, headphone, headphone, auxiliary jack, and of course the USB A, which you can use to charge. Oh, and the micro U. So the USB A to charge your phone, the micro USB to charge the radio. Um, uh, please note, notice I didn't charge my phone long. But look at the the battery on that. This was basically fully charged when we started this. It looks like when you're charging the phone it may use your battery quickly. It also could be that I'm wrong, it wasn't totally fully charged, but it's going to be something else interesting. It's a good backup, but it's a radio. I'd use it for radio. Use this, use it to charge this for emergencies, not for some regular use. Um, it's got the clock, of course. And you can disable the beep sounds, you can set an alarm. I, I don't use alarms on this that much because they're phones. It's so much easier to use phones or Amazon or whatever. Um, you can make it so that whether or not you want the, the clock or the frequency to show when it's playing the radio, you can change it if you're in another country that has the 9 kilohertz tuning. You can change that very easily. I showed you how to do the high power mode. You can activate uh, tuning steps, the normal tuning if you're on AM is um, 10 kilohertz, so you turn it on, or, or I take it back, in the U.S. it's 10 kilohertz. In, um, in other countries it might be 9, but, so if I small, tune, you'll see it, will go the, on. You can make it, you can go ahead and you can change your setting, pressing magic buttons again, two buttons, the one and the four, with the radio off, you can change it so that it tunes in 1 kilohertz. Um, I'm not sure I would use it much, but if you're having some issue with a uh, station kind of drifting a little bit that might help with um, you can make it so that you have narrow filters on AM a lot of times you have wide but if you've got a lot of stations around each other where you are a narrow filter will allow you not to have bleed between stations so you can do that reset it to factory defaults you can change memory pages it says the page function gives you 20 additional presets for AM and FM so it doesn't look like you can do it for weather Quickly press the memory buttons 3 and 5 simultaneously to enter page selection mode, and then choose 1 through 5. So that's pretty amazing if you think about it. 20 additional, so that's 25 each, right? You have the 5 that are in the first page, and then you have 4 more pages, 5 pages. And that's basically it. I, 
I love this. Now, I, I own a lot of radios. Um, I, I've worked in radio. Uh, the only reason I don't keep working in radio is because I like eating, and the family does too. <laughs> if, you haven't, if you've worked in radio, you probably understand that. Um, but uh, it, it's just, it's, this, is, this is amazing. This, this brings back kind of memories of when radio was fun. When I, I remember, I wish I kept some of these things. Like I had a shortwave radio that was pocket size. They just, they don't make the same things anymore. Uh, the C-Crane, I think it's a Skywave, but this, any C-Crane radio you're going to do well with. But the, the Skywave, that, their shortwave radio is probably, if not the best small shortwave radio, it's, uh, it's right up there. Um, uh, well, <laughs> this is not a review of that, but there are a lot of reasons why to love that one. But again, it wasn't quite the same, and, and yes, the electronics in a lot of these radios have gotten better because the chips have, you know, you can get, you can get these radios often much cheaper now. When you had to buy them in the old days, they'd be very expensive and, and often bigger and stuff like that. But there, this, this, is, this brings me back to the days when radio was it. Yes, you had television, but you didn't have cable. Um, you didn't have the internet. You, if you wanted to kind of get news from around the world, tuning into the BBC or Radio Moscow, long gone Radio Moscow. I don't even know if the BBC is on shortwave anymore, but you'd have to listen to them on, on shortwave. Um, just just a beautiful radio, C. Crane. Thank you for sending it to me for, for, for review. To everybody else who you probably prefer the, the slicker reviews, my apologies. But you're seeing an honest use of this. And, and don't hesitate to comment wherever you see this video. You see on YouTube or Rumble or whatever. Don't hesitate to co comment and ask questions. I'll do more testing. Um, I do want to try out the solar stuff and the the winding stuff more. Um, but I, I mean, and and by the way, I, they they sent it to me. But all I asked for was early access. I plan on buying. And I, I probably should have put this at the beginning. Uh, I plan on buying one of these for each of my children. And for my siblings, because this will help out in an emergency. It's great. I'm going to use it regularly, but this will help out in an emergency. Truly help out. It's not campy. You just saw like that little thing right there. If your battery's running out of thing and you get like an extra text message to tell people where you are, or a phone call to 911. Think about that. Think about that. This is just such a great radio. Thanks for watching. Yes, please like this video, subscribe, and of course. Ring the bell. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys later.